Hey, Saints, I have something very astounding to show you. Now, the government has compiled a list, and this is, this is something you're not going to find in mainstream media news. This is something that's actually in the non-mainstream media outlets. Okay, The government has compiled a list of those that are considered terrorists. Okay? Uh, there's secret classified government documents that have compiled a list for everyone to see. Now, I'm going to read this article to you. This is a report I got from someone just now. Okay? It says, below is a list of Americans who are terrorists according to the U.S. government. These exposed government documents reveal everyone in America who is considered to be an extremist, a potential terrorist, and or a terrorist in official U.S. government documents. This is only a small portion of the official terrorist watch list. Are you on the terrorist watch list? Find out now. Now, um, brothers and sisters in Christ that speak out against abortion, about uh, LGBT, it's freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? That's freedom of speech. But So by putting us that oppose gay rights, that oppose abortion and speak out against it, by putting us on this list, the government is violating our freedom of speech rights. You know what a hate crime is, ladies and gentlemen? Let's say if a person... Uh, I'll give you the example, the Ku Klux Klan, how they hate the African-American race. And then they go out and they, and they uh, physically vandalize a property of the African-American community. And not only that, that they actually assault these individuals. That's a hate crime. But speaking, I'm not, go, I'm, saying go, I'm not saying to go out and speak out racist things, okay? Don't. But if you speak out against... Uh, Abortion being illegal, because Planned Parenthood, as you know, is buying body parts. That's disgusting. Okay? That's, that's sick. So, speaking out against that, ab against abortion, against how this messed up and corrupt this government is, about uh, the Muslim religion, how false it is, um, speaking out ag against, uh, like I said, the LGBT, that they consider that terrorists. Speaking out, if you support individual rights, like it says in the Constitution, you're a terrorist, according to the government. You know how the Constitution says we can worship and practice our faith freely? Okay? The Christian Action Network, which practices their faith freely. I'm not supporting them as Christians, I'm just saying. They're on this list too. Okay? Um, you don't see anything about anti-Christian attitudes on here. You see, I saw anti-Muslim. Look at this list. So if you speak out against Islam, you're considered a terrorist. That proves that this nation is no longer a Christian nation, that it never has been. Only at one time, that's it. That it's a Muslim nation to the core with a Muslim administration, with a Muslim president that will burn when my Lord Jesus Christ returns. Anyway, this is the list Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a police state. You and I, if we do not believe Islam is false, I mean, if we believe Islam is false and we speak out against it and expose it for the filth that it is, okay? If we expose and speak out against abortion, if we support the patriots, you know, the vets, the military that defends this country, if we support that America has a right to own firearms, you're considered a terrorist. So, see, they, they uh, put those that oppose gun control on here as terrorists. Or, yeah, those that oppose gun control as terrorists. So that's violating another amendment right that says you can own firearms. And again, the freedom of speech and freedom of the press. That's being trampled on. You see how I told you once that um, this government is going to strip you of your basic alienable Human constitutional rights, and it's happening. So look at this list. Those that talk about individual rights, state rights that support it, those that want to make the world a better place, I don't know why that would be on this list. That's how evil this country, this world is. Those that oppose the New World Order, well, I oppose it. I oppose it. I stand for the cross. Um, it says the colonists who sought to free themselves from British rule. I don't know why that's still on there. You know, England lost the war. Get over it. Um, those that are interested in defeating the communists. 
Under communism, you have no basic rights whatsoever. So I don't know why this would be on there. You see how this government is infiltrating your rights little by little. They're regulating the internet. You have to watch what you say. You have to watch what you do. I know brothers and sisters in Christ that have personally gone out to Dearborn, Michigan to preach the gospel. These are people that um, went out there to meet others and brothers and sisters in Christ that live there. And they got stoned by Muslims. You don't see the Muslims stoning uh, Christians on this list. It says right here, religious intolerance. But I guarantee you, if you see a Muslim stoning Christians, then nothing's going to be done. Nothing's going to be done. But if you see a, a Christian, uh, like this, there was this recent uh, protest where these Christians came to the protest with, uh, they were heavily armed, right? Because it was a large, a very large Muslim community, right? All those mainstream media news was all over it, making these Christians look like they were terrorists. Well, you know what? Those Christians support the Second Amendment right to own firearms. They have every right to own firearms, and they were defending themselves. Because every time a brother or sister in Christ tries to preach the gospel, you have some Muslim trying to stone them, okay? So I can't blame them for taking up arms. And I'm not saying every Muslim is a murderer, but I'm saying most of them do not want to hear the gospel being preached in their community. Even though you as a person have a right to freedom of speech. So I can't blame those brothers and sisters for arming up. Arm up, ladies and gentlemen. Take five. If you have a firearm, man, you better use it to protect your family. Intolerance towards other religions. See that? Fight against the exploitation of the environment and or animals. Those that take action to fight against the exploitation of the environment and or animals. Why would that be on here? These are people opposing how... The uh, governments of this world are treating animals and the environment, which are blessings that Jesus Christ, who was God, gave to mankind. So why would individuals like that that want to save those blessings be on this terrorist watch? This is a world where they call evil good and good evil. Anti-gay. Well, I don't care if I'm considered a terrorist. I don't care what you say. You're not going to force me to abandon my father, who is Jesus Christ. God made... Adam and Eve, one flesh, not Adam and Steve or Rebecca and Rhonda, okay? God did not make it like that. So if you want to impose those gay beliefs on somebody else, go right ahead. That's another thing. These gay people have more rights than Christians do. You know why? Because Christians are not free to practice their uh, their their rights. See, they talk about over here, those that oppose equal rights for gays and Christians. Well, the government opposes equal rights for Christians, because the Constitution says that Christians should be able to worship and practice their faith freely. Okay? Practice means also obeying the laws of God, who is Jesus Christ. So you have Christians saying that they will not do a gay wedding because it's against their religion. And it is. That's them practicing and demonstrating their faith right there. But then you got the government forcing all these gay, sick, sodomite laws down the Christian's throat saying, oh no, you got to marry these gay people, or you're going to go to jail, and you're going to face fines. You know what I'm saying? Forcing it down these Christian's throats. You have few brothers and sisters in Christ that don't cave in, you know, they end up going to jail, and then they get a lawyer, and then they get exonerated because the constitutional right that says they have a right to freely worship exonerates them in the end. You know, you got some other Christians that do cave in. Well, you know what? If I am a pastor and I'm not, I'm not going to do a gay wedding. And you want to sit there and throw me in jail? Go right ahead. You can throw away the keys too, but I'm not opposing Jesus. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because I know that the Lord will deliver me and free me from the grasp of mankind. So you have the Patriot Movement. They're on the list too. I mean, let, me, let me keep moving forward. Opposition to equal rights for gays and lesbians. This country wants you to adopt their ideologies, the USA, to uh, believe in gay rights. Well, I don't support it. I have a right to my opinion. I have a right to freedom of speech. And I have a right to practice my faith freely as I see fit. This country is a Sodom and Gomorrah nation, ladies and gentlemen. This country, I believe, is destined to be destroyed by Russia. That's what I believe. I mean, look at Russia's getting so powerful. They're more powerful than the United States. You don't see the, you don't see the United States messing with Russia in the Middle East. Since when has the USA been known to back down from an enemy? Not until Russia took, not until Russia um, came on the scene. Anyway, um, members of the American Border Patrol, these are individuals that want USA to be a sovereign nation because this president, big ear president, was stupid enough to open up the borders where anybody could come in. And we have all these violent um, 
episodes happening because of him. And a lot of these fake refugees that are posing as Muslims, I mean, not posing as Muslims, they, they're mostly Muslims, but they're posing as refugees, families, but they most of them are Islamic extremists, radicals, okay? They are posing, or they belong to the Muslim Brotherhood, some Muslim faction, where they want Sharia law. They're allowed into this country. These, these American Border Patrol individuals want to protect the borders from illegal aliens from getting over. And they're on a terrorist list because they want a sovereign nation? That's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. It's something I'm going to tell you. You know that the refugees that come in, very small fraction of them are Christians, right? Do you know that they're being deported back to the war-torn countries and they're not being allowed in the United States? So every Muslim that's coming in is a, is every refugee that comes in is a Muslim. Not one of them is Christian because they've been deported back to the war torn nations. But this big eared president who has a tranny for a wife opens his arms to Muslims, which means he's a Muslim. And I know he's a Muslim. So the Federation for American Immigration Reform to change the immigration policies, they're on the list. Tennessee Freedom Coalition, Christian Action Network, if you're opposed to the New World Order. Oh, the non-mainstream media news that they say cons uh, theorize conspiracies. Well, you know what? A lot of their conspiracies are true. So you'll find, you probably you'll, you'll find individuals like maybe Mark Dice or Dabu777 or Spiro that'll be on this list because they expose, okay, a lot of the a lot of the hidden agendas of the government, AMTV, another one, um, their theories are not, uh, their con their, uh, the conspiracies that they say that they theorize are not theories, okay, this government is not telling you everything, so you have the alternate media news that will tell you things that the government is trying to hide, they're on the terrorist list, why, I don't know, they shouldn't be on there, <clears throat> anyone opposed to November, uh, Agenda 21, Anyone that has concerns about FEMA camps, well, can you blame people having concern about FEMA camps? Can you blame them? I don't want to be in a prison. FEMA camps are a threat, ladies and gentlemen, and that's in order. The coffins, the guillotines, that's going to be part and play a big role in the suffering that mankind's going to see. This kind of suffering that's prophesied in the Bible, the kind of suffering that, that mankind has never seen before. It's going to be the most horrible. It's going to be the kind of stuff you'll see during the tribulation, which again is at God's appointed time. The militia movement uh, about gun, gun control or weapons confiscations. So protecting your Second Amendment right to own firearms would be considered a terrorist, even though they're violating your Second Amendment right. Oh, that you don't have to pay taxes. The U.S. Constitution says we don't have to pay taxes, and you got that right. I don't believe I should have to pay taxes. I don't believe the IRS should be misbilling people. They bill, uh, they bill Americans a lot of times. They bill them incorrectly. Complains about bias. Um, believes in government conspiracies to the point of paranoia. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the alternate media news and you're exposing conspiracies, they'll consider you paranoid. They consider Christians paranoid. Um, I told you I had a dream that um, I saw myself, I saw, sorry, not myself, I saw a, a sister in Christ, I could not see her face, but she looked like she was in a padded wall uh, room, and she had a straight jacket on, and I prayed to the father about this, and he said that that was, that was Christians, in the future, a lot of Christians are going to be confined to mental facilities to kind of re-educate them and reprogram them. Because if you are Bible-believing Christians, they will consider you mentally unstable. That's going to come on the scene, too. It's already here. It's just going to get worse. Oh, frustrated with the ideologies of this country. Mainstream, notice that. Mainstream mean, meaning mainstream media news. you got to follow the mainstream media news. Um, be a puppet. Be a brain-dead zombie. Follow whatever the elites puts out, or you'll be considered a terrorist. If you oppose what's going on, how the elites are trying to program the masses, you'll be a terrorist. Um, if you visit extremist websites, so you could be, let's say, a member of the a member of the Christian Action Network, or you could be a member of. Um, there's another one out there. I forgot the name of it. It's another ministry, a Christian ministry. They'll consider you a terrorist because you go on that website and you visit it, and you might go on there to get a free Bible or, uh, you know, to, to get some literature or something, right? They'll consider you a terrorist. Anyone that establishes website blog to display extremist views. So if you have a blog or if you have a Facebook page and you 
um, expose ISM for what it is or lesbianism or homosexuality. They consider you a terrorist even though you're not harming anyone and you are a law-abiding citizen and you don't have a criminal record. But meanwhile, you got this nut job president letting uh, criminals, and I'm talking about the type of criminals that should be in a super maximum facility prison. He lets them out. I'm talking about Obama. And he released terrorists back to ISIS. Although they're not considered terrorists. I mean, this president, is, he has no brains, okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. He's stupid. And it also exhibits extreme religious intolerance. I told you about that. Um, suddenly acquires weapons, organizes protests. This is amazing. The Constitution says we have a right not only to the freedom of press, but we also have a right to gather in peace and protest non-violently, okay? How many Muslims you see out there that protest and gaze, and it comes to be violent? But they're not arrested. They're not on this list, okay? They're not on this list. The extremist ideology, see, if you read this in between, anyone that organizes protests is inspired by extremist ideology. The extremist ideology, they consider... And you shouldn't organize protests for is if you oppose the LGBT or gay rights <clears throat> or the Muslim religion. See where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? Um, oh, uh, citizens that have bumper stickers that are patriotic or anti-UN. So you could have a soldier that has, I serve the U.S. Army or American flag up or uh, he's showing he's a vet. They're considered terrorists. The army of God, yeah, fiercely nationalistic. If they oppose our international orientation that they, they love the U.S. and are patriots, consider that terrorist. Uh, individual liberty, okay, which the Constitution says that we have individual liberties. If you believe in that, you're considered a terrorist. If you believe in the alternate media news, which a lot of them put out truth, you still got to test the spirits, you're considered a terrorist. What else? Um, those that impose strict religious tenets or laws on society. So if you're a Bible-believing Christian, again, you're considered a terrorist. Insert religion into the in political sphere. How many times Muslims do that and they're not considered terrorists? Even Hindus do that. Christians hardly ever do that. Um, uh, seek to politicize religion. They're trying to say that ISIS is not ISIS. Well, ISIS is ISIS because... ISIS practice everything that the Quran does. Everything. You got to read the Quran and the Hadith to know this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're anti-abortion, Catholic, nuclear, um, right wing, returning veterans. So vets are on here too. You fear communist regimes, you're on here too. You believe in the right to bear arms. It's our constitutional right. You're a terrorist. And I'm going to let you skim the rest of this list. Those that believe in end time prophecies, terrorists, evangelical Christians, terrorists, anyone who flies a drone. Dabu 77 had, I believe he said he had a drone, and this gentleman had more than one uh, chopper over his house. I had several over mine too. See that? That's the list, ladies and gentlemen, and there's your source up there. This is the times that we're living in, okay? This is the times that we are living in. So, I am going to leave this link. Well, I already showed you the link. There it is. I hope you can see that. You need to see the name of the article. This is the times that we're living in. I'm pretty sure I'm on this list. And I'm pretty sure if you guys believe in God, Jesus Christ, you, you believe in the Constitution, you should be able to have freedom of speech, religion, uh, freedom of the press to protest peacefully, to express your views, to practice your faith and worship as you see fit. Okay, if you worship a false faith, that is your choice. You're going to have to uh, face Jesus Christ for that. You know, if, if you are a believing Christian in God, you believe in God, you will be on this list. If you don't believe or support uh, gay rights, you'll be on this list. If you say that you don't uh, believe in Islam, and you don't support it, they consider you anti-Muslim. Well, I'm going to still voice my opinion because I have freedom of speech. And the government don't like it. That's just too damn bad. 
I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive me for saying a D-A-M word. Lord Jesus, pardon me. Just I'm full of righteous anger. These are the times that we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. The government has a terrorist list, and he is they're watching us all. But there's a greater power that's watching over his people, and that's Jesus Christ, so don't be afraid.